everybody this is Chilisa thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel thank you to everybody who's listening in the podcast right now it is Sunday July 14 2024 I wanted to come back here and do another follow-up video regarding the identity of the shooter who attempted the assassination of former President Trump and as we all know that happened yesterday Saturday July 13 it happened in Pennsylvania while Donald Trump was in a uh, campaign rally over there and as we know there's a lot of you know as it being a breaking news story and just recently happening all the information are now coming out um, so let me just briefly tell you exactly um, the information that we have now so the gunman who fired shots at former President Donald Trump in an assassination attempt at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, Saturday night, has been identified by the FBI as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. He was killed by the Secret Service sniper, okay? Um, one audience member at the rally, excuse me, in Pennsylvania, a Pennsylvania firefighter, Corey Comperator was killed in the shooting and two other men are in critical condition right now. So this is everybody who was affected by this assassinate, assassination, uh, excuse me, assassination attempt on former President um, Donald Trump. So they were saying a uh, Pennsylvania firefighter, former firefighter, Corey Comperton and two other men whose identity has not been released yet they're currently in the hospital right now in critical condition so keep all of them in your prayers um also you know i know this is some people don't even think about this but a 20 year old kid you know he, 20 years old is very young to me um 20 year old man recently graduating i think he graduated last year uh, from high school um and it's like wow that's that's what's going in these people's mind so it tells you like you immediately think about who is his family what do they do like how was he raised what do they do for a living for him to even go forward with the with a, a plan like this so keep the family of the 20 year old um, Thomas Matthew Crooks, that's his name. He's the the gunman who tried to kill um, President Donald Trump yesterday. And he, you know, he was killed by the Secret Service once they, you know, they found him on top of that roof with the rifle in his hand. So keep his family also in your prayers, guys. I'm sure everything that's happening to them is just. I'm, I don't know if it's, it's, a, it's a shock. That's why I'm like, I need to know, like, who was his family? Who is his family? Because you found one thing about, like, your family knows who you are. Like, if you have, because, you know, what you, what goes in your mind, the minute you start talking, like, it reveals what you're thinking about, right? And a lot of the times, you know, people, if you live, you still live with your family, you communicate with them. So, they know and they know your behavior they know how you operate so i wonder if the family saw any type of signs that this young man will ever carry out something like this or any like like will he, this does he normally get mad when donald trump comes comes on television what is he saying you know those people that are so passionate um, and they see somebody on TV and they go crazy and they start uh, going like it could be the quietest moment and then somebody comes on TV and they're like I hate this guy or something um, so I wonder if the family is gonna speak about everything that happening do they know like were there any signs was he was he like I mean Donald Trump was president for four years so was this kid like when did they the hate began like things like that that i wish you know i know it's too soon but i wish um at some point we can hear from the family and see what went through this young man's life that led him to this you know so it says here the fbi has identified 
Thomas Matthew Crooks, that's his name, like I said, 20 years old, of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, as the subject involved in the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump on July 13 in Butler, Pennsylvania. This remains an active and ongoing investigation and any inf anyone with information that may assist with the investigation is encouraged to submit photos or video and they can go on fbi.gov, right? or call the, the phone number. Federal investigators said the gunman was not carrying an identification, so they analyzed his DNA to provide a biometric confirmation of his identity. That's so strange to me. Just even reading it right now, the first time I just learned this, uh, I just read this because, guys, they did, I feel like they did identify this guy very quickly. You know, because normally when something like this happen, um, hmm, when something like this happens, usually they contact the family first before they release any names. And last night I came here and told you guys his name because he was already released by the FBI. I think around 11.30 or midnight, the FBI did a press conference about the identity of the shooter. And I was like, that is so fast. Um, that is so fast that that happened. And he, you know, they just said he didn't, he wasn't carrying any ID. The, identi the identification of, this, of the suspect, excuse me, was done via using DNA. Crooks was from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh suburb, about an hour from, uh, an hour south of Butler. The town in Allegheny, County is home to about 30,000 people and has one high school with about 1,300 students, okay? Bethel Park School District confirmed that Crooks was a 2022 graduate of Bethel Park High School and officials ple pledged to work with law enforcement investigating the shooting and offer condolences to those affected by the attack former classmate okay so now they're already speaking with some of his classmates former class classmate of um, thomas crook said um uh said uh, he tried out for the team freshman year for the school varsity team freshman year but did not make uh, the junior year a varsity rooster and did not return to try out for the team in subsequent years he called crooks a nice kid who never talked poorly of anyone. And he said, I never had thought him capable of anything I, anything I seen him do in the last few days. Hmm, that's also interesting. Um, because his classmate said, I would never think this guy will do something like this. But he didn't just say, I never thought of him doing something like this. He said, I never thought of him being capable of anything I seen him do in the last few days. So did something else happen uh, prior to this uh, shooting uh, attempt or assassination attempt on Donald Trump by this by this kid Thomas Crooks? Fellow classmate said um, Crooks wasn't popular. He still had a group of friends and, and was a good student and beloved by teachers. She said she didn't see any red flags that would lead her to believe that he will do anything like this. Well, I mean, he graduated in 2022, right? Um, leaving high school and entering basically to being like, kind of like, you know, now you're gonna get a job and, uh, or you can uh, start college, right? You begin to, you know, to kind of like start, start life kind of like on your own or making enough money to support yourself even if you go away for college for college or like to buy your school supplies and things like that. It's strange to me that they're reaching out to his classmates like he just graduated last month. You know what I mean? It's so weird because it's 2024 now. This kid graduated in 2022. In two years, um, or a year and a half, people change a lot, right? You're going, I mean, especially at that age, they're going through transition. So it's very strange how all these classmates, 
classmates are already like giving statements and saying this and never thought of this or the other like at least i mean if they would have said you know i saw him at graduation i haven't seen him since or he never i don't know if he went to college or whatever he graduated in 2022 so i don't know that's a little strange to me um it says here actually crook says graduated from the community college of allegheny i might be mispronouncing that in may of 2024 so he graduated just in may of this year from college with an associate degree in science and in science engineering said um and he also worked at Beto park skilled nursing and rehabilitation center as a dietary aid, according to the facility administrator, oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys had listened to my previous recording regarding about, you know, nursing homes and if you have a parent or a loved one in a nursing home to check on them and things like that. Um, it's so strange that they, I just, this guy worked at a nursing home as a dietary aid. Like... I don't know, man, like you really have to be like, and the reason that I say this guys is because um, there are people who are dealing, dealing with a lot of stuff mentally. And you know, I, I think his job to like um, see if any, if he was like getting in trouble at his job or something. And the reason that I say this because this guy just tried to kill the, the a former president. And this guy was working with vulnerable people at a nursing home, okay? So obviously, he wasn't fit, you know, mentally he wasn't right. So I wonder if there was some type of behavior change, you know, maybe if they speak with his like co-workers, um, maybe perhaps they can say something or oh yeah that's the guy who hate who hated him who hated um, you know Trump and he always talked badly about Trump maybe you know hearing from his former co-workers will be ideally probably the best thing to kind of know where his mind was at but like this is what you have to like if you have a parent and a nursing home checking your check on them because like a lot of people are dealing with a lot mentally and they might not look it but you have to you know you have to communicate with them and see what they're you know what they're all about what they're thinking about because a lot of the times when people speak to you they kind of reveal themselves to you um the reason this is shocking to me to see that he work at a nursing home is because once again you're working around people who are vulnerable who they they don't they cannot speak for themselves and here you are you know letting this guy in around vulnerable people and this guy has the mentality like he like he did to go out and plan this attack and assassination on former president trump you know that's crazy so that's where he worked at so in 20 may 2024 so this may this past may he graduated with an associate degree associate in science degree in engineering and he worked at Beto Park Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Center as a dietary aid. Okay. Crooks has also had a membership at a nearby gun club for at least a year. Hmm. So they already spoke with that guy. So now they're trying to figure out what is the motive, right? I think um the President Biden spoke about two hours ago and he said you know he's giving the condolences to the people who got killed and the people who are still in the hospital and he said he spoke with um with um donald trump and he also said they're trying to figure out what was the motive that's what i'm saying like i think they need to investigate how he was at work um and, and at home too right so this is here there was also no indication that crooks ever had a connection to any military branch. Um, so let me see any other information. Law enforcement officials said early Sunday that the Secret Service and the FBI 
are investigating the suspect background and speaking with his family so that's good so they're speaking with his family the fbi has secured his home and federal law enforcement is searching his family residence in suburban Pittsburgh, the law enforcement said Crooks D had a social media presence. Agents are coming through his posts and emails but have found nothing so far that revealed the motive or anything threatening. The investigation so far has indicated that Crooks acted alone and that there is no continued threat, okay? The agency also has Crook's cell phone and is working to gain access to his contents. Meanwhile, the public has submitted over 2,000 tips to the FBI for examination. Wow. So they're getting a lot of um, tips. It says here, the gunman was armed with a semi-automatic AR-style rifle. Multiple law enforcement sources said ATF is a tracing is tracing the weapon okay two law enforcement sources said the gun was legally purchased and, and by a register to the shooter's father Matthew Crook so now his father like they the gun belonged to his father so now his dad is gonna be basically wrapped up in this whole thing the gunman opened fire from the roof of a shed outside the uh the Gordon of Raleigh area, but about 400 free from the station, multiple sources said. So, wow. Okay, so, um, wow, that's just, I, I mean, like, I don't, I'm just thinking about the dad now that he's gonna be so involved in this because they can't belong to him, to his dad. And it's not like he's like a 14 year old kid who who knows where their gun is. He's a 20 year old man, right? He's young, but he's, you know, he's already, he's 20 and had a job and everything. So now I'm sure they're gonna, you know, interview the, they, they already say they're talking with the family, but now specifically the dad, because the dad, um, that, that was his gun. That was his, his gun basically. So it's a lot of, um, you know all this information coming out about him now and about his family so um let me know guys what you think about all of this and if you have any new information that just came out please leave a comment once again thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel thank you to everybody who's listening in the podcast have a good day god bless Hi everybody, this is Julissa. I'm here to invite you to my podcast, Julissa Designs, and it can be found on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. You can join me every day as I make episodes of the latest news, real life stories, and I also share my favorite Bible verse. Hope to see you then. God bless. Everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to know more about me, you can always visit www.julissadescience.com. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.